Hello everybody! Today is going to be the final episode we're actually going to be doing anything related to Tsumi Horoboshi in. And my god dude, it feels so weird that we're finally at this point because I'm not going to lie, I've actually been playing this story for a month now. <laughs> it just feels really weird that we're like finally ending it. It feels wrong! It actually kind of does. So yeah, um, what I actually wanted to do today, I had planned a lot more than actually was available to me. Wait, hang on a second, I completely forgot about the tip I'd unlocked, but... So let's go, go to the extra real quick. Firstly, I thought there was a character review session, but there isn't, like, there wasn't in Maokashi. So we're not going to get any of that, sadly, which I really miss, honestly. But the story's content being so good, more than made up for it, honestly. But so are the ones with the character casts. It's not really, I don't know, it's not really a fair analogy. But yeah, um, we also have the tip, and we also were going to have that choice. Look, um, yeah, I hope nothing happens at all. Yeah, look at this, so, there's literally just, I don't know if you guys, if you're like a real diehard VN fan and you're just watching this, I suppose this is important, this will be important to you. So, look at this, there's going to be one. Did you go time who would whisper that? I, I'll just go to see Mion for a bit. Two. I'll just take my leave from them. I left the classroom and headed to the faculty office where Neon had gone to make the phone make a phone call. I would have I would have remembered the word faculty. <laughs> what does that even mean? It's not like I, do, I can do anything, even if I stayed by her. Hmm. I just hated seeing. S I just hated. I just hated staying still, doing nothing but well wallowing in anxiety. Yeah, because we have to remember this is the part before. Then I actually. Wait, what did I just press? Oh, oh right. Oh, I was really confused. I accidentally just like put my hand on my keyboard because I've got a new keyboard today. I've never used this keyboard before, so I'm really finding out how to get used to. It. Okay. Yeah, so there we are. Literally like one, two, three, four, five, six new lines. <laughs> yeah, so I'm really disappointed. I thought potentially that um decision could have maybe resulted in like an alternate story, but that's what we have the console arcs for, I suppose. Right, now we're gonna get into the source. I think I'm gonna read the tip first, and then I'm gonna read like the thing that sort of really, really finals, final, that I don't know, like finalizes. Is that a, that is a verb, isn't it? Right, the demon script. This is gonna be very interesting because Casey always is saying like, ooh, oh, interesting. I wonder where this is gonna be. The car began to turn. The car began to rattle as the rain turned from asphalt to gravel. The crowd has got a seat through the tightly shut windows. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Most people would open their car windows and let natural air in, along with the sound of the cicadas. Yeah. But people are also spoiled. <laughs> if I were keeping myself cool, the air conditioning turned to max, then listen to the sounds of nature. That's actually interesting. I mean, yeah. But how is he spoiled for doing that? Usually it was the rainy season this time of year. But this June, the summer had, the summer had already came without any rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's really unnatural for it to be that hot in June. Is that actually what he said? Just like how the weather was on that day, 20 years ago. Ooh. Oh, oh my god, so this is where we are. Oh, that's really, really interesting. This is Akazaka in the future. This is like we, where we were at Himatsubushi. I don't know why, but when I started to play this, I used to get to Mihorobushi and Himatsubushi really confused. So I'd always call like Himatsubushi to Mihorobushi and the other way around as well. Like, just why? It kind of reminds me of that. The air around this area was just as clear as I remember it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe not yet. Oh,
そのおかげで観光客がいない実に快適じゃないかどうして旅行者ってのは田舎じゃ交通法規を忘れられるんだどういっぱいに横になりやがって I don't know if they have dog owners in Japan, but my god, there are some dog owners that they literally think like they fucking own the road. It's so annoying. But the only thing is, it's kind of odd though. Like, what a waste, you know? It just doesn't really give me the happiest tone. Shit, if something happens in this scene on Mazawa, that's bad. I wonder. I'm, I'm kind of getting that impression at the moment, but I don't know. Maybe there hasn't been. I mean, it still has infrastructure, so who knows? アカサカ先輩はアウトドア今も最近はさっぱりだな何しろ暇のない家業だからな<笑>それはお互い様ですおいたいたあやなあ。俺が大学時代に大変お世話になった赤坂先輩だ。今日はもう一人大石というものとご一緒するお約束でしたが直前に検査入院に入ってしまいましてどうこうできませんでしたこの度はお世話になりますがよろしくおいしくしてもいいですか Strong to live though, I mean, you'd have to be like a, in mid 110s. Some of them is gonna be very possible, but yeah, <laughs> God. Yoroshiko n e g a s h i m a s Tate, so Akasaka Senpai, where should we go first? d o k o k a r a Marimaska. Ah, so the group member is the person. Ah,、oh, that's kind of a shame it isn't Katie. That would have been really funny.
Das ist wirklich krass. Wir sehen uns Mama noch. Mama Lee. Was? Mama Lee Akasaka. Er ist ein Veteran Detective in der Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department. Er ist ein Veteran Detective. Und er ist ein Detective as well. That's insane. So, not only has, been, has he literally been doing policing for 20 years, but secondly, like, you can just really see how, like, before, he was just, when we actually played with him, played, oh my fucking god, that sounds so wrong. When he, we played as his character, I'm so sorry. When we played as his character, he was literally just, like, a newbie. He, this was his first time on the job. And now he's here. That's just so, just sort of happy to see, really. The fact that he was close to his retirement, he hadn't lost his clearance in his archives at all. Damn, so he's actually close to a retirement? I assume he's probably, he's probably in his, he's either in his, I'd assume he's in his 40s though. He did not, there's no way he was like 30 or 40 when we played as him. What would have been 20 years ago in Yamatabushi. <laughs> As I show the confidence he built through many risky experiences, and he had a well-built muscular body and fearless aura. Yeah, he must have fought against many, many violent criminals. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Experience leaders in Yamazawa went back almost 30 years, all the way back to 1970. I thought he said 20. Hang on a second, what? So. Yeah, just like how the weather was on that day, 20 years ago. Oh my god, I keep forgetting. Oh, yeah, I, I forgot he didn't go on 1983. Um, to him as well. He came before that. Oh, I can't believe I forgot that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that actually really makes sense now. It's because to him as well went back almost 30 years, all the way back to 1978. He was in the public safety division in the Metropolitan Police Department. He had came to him as well to investigate the kidnapping case of the Downtown Akima guy, then the then Minister of Construction. The then Minister, I love that. <laughs> So he's in the public safety division. Isn't that really, really high as well? There he met Oishi and Hudede Bika. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, because this is probably the chance in which he's actually investigating, like, what happened to Bika? Were those predictions true? But in brackets, they were. Yeah. Who did Eddie Carr predicted her? Oh, wait, hang on a second. So this is the Tumi Horoboshi world. And yet, wait, hang on, what? She's dead, even though this is... Okay, this is weird. Who did Eddie Carr predicted her own death? I guess I got regretted for the first... For the rest of his life that he couldn't save that little girl from her fate. Yeah, but like... Yeah, I mean, definitely. But, hang on a second, this just makes no sense. Why would she have died? Even though the world was potentially, like, perfect. I mean, I don't know, maybe it could have been a world that wasn't perfect. Like, let's say then I did actually get sentenced to prison. Because, let's be real, from what she's done, she probably would have got, like, over 10 years. Maybe even over 20, I don't know. But, yeah. Oh, my God. That's just really surprising to think to me that Vika's dead. Even though everything's went... Everything... Not... I won't say everything's gone perfectly, but everything's became... Like, it can have a perfect beginning, and yet she's dead. What the fuck happened? That's really concerning to think. Oh my god, could you imagine if it was because, like, I don't know, then our sort of her treatment and help that she was probably going to get after this just didn't work out or something like that. That would be the worst. He used to not, he, he saw the news of the great Hinamazawa disaster on TV and met up again with Oishi. Yeah. I decided to uncover the misery and devotion of both cr the cruel fate that fell upon 
in the Ocon, the series of things that stirred us. That's when you know it's us. Yeah. Unfortunately, when that was all was sealed off for a long time. Hang on a second, so. Yeah, that definitely means it. So, Hinamazawa has actually faced the gas attack that. I mean, I mean, when I say gas attack, I mean like the worldwide sort of gas explosion for the village. The village wide, not worldwide, why did I say that? But like the explosion that basically covered the entire village. And yet it was still a good world. It makes no sense. Because the thing is, you always remember in Tatali Gorishi, Keiji was the one that actually brought that on. I mean, maybe it could have been something else. It could have been severe coincidence, but I don't believe that. I don't know. It's just really, really weird. Because how could Katie have brought that on? I don't believe in it. I don't, I don't know. I really, really don't know. As a result, all Akazaka and Oishi could do for the past 20 years was finally share the little information they gathered and ask for their resources to send their tips and clues. Yeah... But recently, the seal on the Yamazawa had finally been lifted. Yeah. However, they couldn't come to the Yamazawa until today due to Akazaka's busy work schedule. Oh, it's just poor hell. Oh, shit. Didn't he have some kind of camps? No, no, because I remember in, um, I think it was Meakasi, actually. Kasai. I think he died in 2002 of liver cancer. Maybe I'm getting confused. I wonder what he actually has. I don't know. I can't believe I remembered that, but I do. <laughs> it's kind of sad. In fact, Oishi was supposed to come back in with Akazaka, but he was called in for an emergency health checkup. Emergency? I mean, to be fair, he is in his 80s now, so it doesn't surprise. When we say 80s, we mean going towards the 90s as well. So it's not surprising. The other two who came along were Akazaka's juniors from university. One worked with the ground SDF, and the other was his subordinate. They were assigned the mission of sealing off Hinamazawa, so they were quite knowledgeable about the village. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course they would be. Oh, that's really cool. So what is the SDF? Defence Force? Some Defence Force, maybe? I don't know. What is the SDF? Let's search it up. Silver Diamine Floor Ride. Yeah, I somehow don't think it's that. <laughs> oh, um. Oh, damn. So, a collision of ethnic militias and rebel groups in um, North and East Syria. Jesus. God, don't know what that would sort of entail, that job. But it sounds like something you'd be really, really fucking brave to even question doing. God. Akazaka took out a scrapbook from his bag. The corners of the scrapbook were all dented, making it look very old. Oh boy, Akazaka's scrapbook! <laughs> the new Dagonor's arm! Akazaka flipped through the pages, thought for a second, and let him know his first destination. Hmm. Alright, please tell me the name of the village. That is a very interesting place to start your village tour. <laughs> Alright, please tell me the name of the village. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. The young man got on his bike and waited for the others to get back to their car. They hold with each other to signal that they're ready, and the young man led the car through the swamp. Oh, damn. Hey, 
Enemies of the forest. They came to an open area where the ground was covered by concrete. Ah. There wasn't even a single drop of water in sight. God. And yet we're in a swamp. <laughs> oh, when you... Yeah, you're through the forest and yet there wasn't a single drop of water. I suppose it could just be really dry climate because of summer. I mean, it'd have to be that. All the water of the swamp had been replaced by concrete. What? That's weird. Who? That's what Ronnie Duffy's swamp looked like now. Yeah, but like, who the fuck did that? I mean, I suppose it could have been some illegal builders, but why would they do it when the village is literally quarantined thanks to a gas attack? God. <laughs> oh, there wasn't even a single drop of water, let alone a swamp. No, no, I know. Somebody hated Inyamazawa, let's just say that, God. They hated the only after you and Oyasu does that nothing. And I think that's actually kind of funny, like, the one thing that sort of really, really signifies the whole Oyasu does something related thing. It's just completely destroyed. Um, once the whole gas attack happens. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's maybe some people that weren't so fanatic related, fanatic like about it. が。大分初期に埋め立てられた時聞いています。自分がここへ着任した時はすでに埋め立てられていました。ああ、はい。ちょっと降りてみよう。Let's go down and we'll take a closer look. Oh boy. Worst mistake of his life, obviously. Nah, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I feel like I've got out of the car and walked through the center of the concrete filled swamp. It wasn't a parking lot or a heliport. It was just a huge empty concrete space right in the middle of the forest. I don't know, it's really, really weird. Or you could wonder. No, 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 that's a ridiculous thought. I was just going to think maybe like that could have potentially been the place Mion actually like hid all the dead bodies. Um. The Renault actually killed like of Nina and Tepe, but that'd be too obvious, way too obvious. Like, it's just like saying, it's just like saying, I don't know, just like subtly pointing out to something that's completely different. I don't know, it's like putting a bit of a lava patch in, I don't know, a swimming pool. If if you could actually do so, I don't know. It's like, let's say you were playing Minecraft. It was like having a block of water in the middle of blocks of lava <laughs> and they're just saying jump down here you may find something i invite you to <laughs> god never pay me to become an analyst of information <laughs> i think i mean a writer <laughs> so this is the place people say Before Akazaka believes in the conspiracy. Oh god, help us! We're not safe anymore. <laughs> so, no, what do you want to tell us? Good, <laughs> good. Coco no Shoshinga, Yoko Mystery Kano Saito in Shokai Saratario. Coco, safe to choose him, I call you Steta. Tashkani, Kona Morionakani, Okanto, Kona Concrete, and Aki Garaba. All phenomena can be explained by natural human related causes. And if it can't, just look at where the money is. No, if it can, just look at. And if you can, if it can be explained and you don't have a motive, just look for money. <laughs> that's, most of the, that's most of what gets it. Mostly what gets it. <laughs> Volcanic gas erupted from the swamp in June 1983. 
Then the Metro Empire was resolved by the Calvin Dioxide. Oh god, engulfed and destroyed in Amazon in a single night. I do wonder if Katie actually survived, because it would be very interesting. You remember in Dapoli Odyssey, that sort of, I don't know, like, news interview that Katie had. Everybody thought he was fucking mental, but he was telling the experiences in which he had actually faced. The village was sealed off and the SDF, SDF um, covered the swamp with concrete. Oh, so I'm assuming SDF is, like, maybe something different to what Bing of all places, God told me what it was. ネットで騒いでる連中にも連中なりの根拠があるらしい。実質学的に言って、ガスの発生源を塞ぐためにガスの発生源を塞ぐために、ガスの発生源を塞ぐために、ガスの発生源を塞ぐために、ガスの発生
I think that's such a horrible picture. Oh, good riddance. This is awful. This is exactly like Yamazawa, but in the real world. We are one of the most mysterious ones. Well, that's actually kind of interesting. Um, apparently, a similar incident on August 15, 1984 actually happened at... Um, oh, it doesn't actually say... Oh, before the catastrophic catastrophe... No, it's a similar incident. Uh, so, more now. I don't know how you pronounce that, but... Interesting. Yeah, it's actually pretty surprising. So I would definitely see how this could sort of have connections. Like, there are nothing stood. Like, there were connections that were valid in her mind, and she could actually believe them. I suppose that's kind of what's happening here. Me on my way to link everything to then off part one. Nah, I'm not in that life. Hold on, a rumour about another possible explanation had begun to fly around the internet recently. This is the internet, keep in mind, but what is the explanation? I'm curious. Oh my god. Literally Takano-san's children. Oh my god. <laughs> Hang on a second. Why am I laughing? What the fuck? No. It kind of would be... It It wouldn't be surprising to me, but at the same time, I don't really know. It's some kind of defense. They said that this also was a cover-up by the government. So that it was actually a biochemical terrorist attack by aliens. Oh my god. Well, so the government are just going to meet them in this weird sort of UFO place. And then they're going to talk about, like, how the aliens are going to do bioterrorism. Yeah, it sounds very urban legendy. Not actually truthful in any way whatsoever but yeah <laughs> oh god i've never seen this screen black before <laughs> why has such a rumor started to spread uh, why had such a rumor um began to spread now they can't even back up their theory with a secret oh my god thank you dude i been looking for this forever. Seriously, this is like the one thing I've seen in Sumi Horoboshi in like the anime, and yet I've never seen it here. And we're finally seeing it. Thank you. They're going to back up the theory with a secret document known as File Number Thirty Four. Of course, Number Thirty Four. Like it's Higurashi. They could have chose any other number. They chose Thirty Four. I think you know what's significant about that. I don't need to say it's. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody online, for descriptive purposes, somebody online named it file number 34 de for descriptive purposes, but the name spread and people start, um, since then, since it, because it sounded like a government conspiracy, people loved it. Yeah, I mean, it sounded like a government conspiracy and it does have valid evidence, but which conspiracy doesn't, to be fair? I mean, all of the ones that are just obviously fake, but some of them do have valid evidence, like this one could potentially. It's unknown how or from, um, it's unknown or how or from where they obtained these documents, but they posted scans and, scans and pictures, which were all ridiculous. Plus, more fake evidence was produced. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, definitely. Plus, more fake evidence was produced over time, so now even the existence of such documents are in doubt. Yeah, fair. Why number 34 deserves a little more explanation. However, since it started on the internet, 
truths and lies were all mixed together and it's become more like an element, isn't it? Yeah. So this is what is believed to be mostly true. Oh, I really hate that, but yeah, I suppose. Oh, it's just really annoying. Like, could you imagine somebody actually investigating the truth? I mean, I'm interested in it, but I'm not fucking investigating it. Like, God. Oh, I must be so awful just trying to filter through the truth and the lies and then getting getting what's actually true out of it as well. It must be awful. <laughs> File number 34 was a notebook written by a nurse, Noe Dokonomiya, who worked at a local clinic in Yamagawa. File number 34 was most likely named after her. Not her interests. That's good. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry I had to. <laughs> this one was the researcher who started the demon myth of Yamazawa and tried to solve the myth. You know. Contents of this notebook state that the that she prophesied the fate. What? She prophesied the Gobi Namazawa disaster of at nineteen eighty three. According to her research, a UFO UFO crash landed in Namazawa a long time ago, but it's been sunk in too long ago after she swung. The UFO carried and um, parasite UFO theory from space. Oh, so that's how then I think the aliens are involved with it. Interesting, yeah. That's very interesting. Actually kind of makes it valid as well. Because I always was thinking like, how the fuck could parasites like these be born? They're nothing, they're like nothing of potential Earth or human origin. But this is how. God. So it's really funny though, like, basically what ruined Denos life are just potential bacteria that may not even exist as well, that's the funny guess there. Um, yeah, the infected villagers began to behave extremely violently, so much that so that they were filled with, with the word demon, you know. Neil Togonor insisted that this is the explanation of the myth about demons pouring out of the swamp. An alien was about to crash, he realised the other things had gone crazy because of the bacteria he brought in, and decided to show himself to um, the villagers to help them out. And yeah, this is why Yashido Sama, I suppose. Is that why Yashido Sama was born? Oh my god, I predicted it! Wow. Nah. <laughs> The alien was able to cure the villagers with highly evolved technology, but he couldn't eradicate the bacteria completely. Yeah. Yep. When the villagers both looked up to the alien as some sort of deity, the alien neutralised its status to hand out some cereal to the villagers in order to stabilise it as he... Yeah. So when a carrier of the disease left the Namazawa, the symptoms would re-emerge. Yeah. And that's actually interesting, so the reason why it's so specific to Namazawa is because it likes it. <laughs> no, other no other explanation required. That's kind of funny. Like, it's just that simple.
Я не знаю, как вы у нас стоите, подожди. Я. Свои силы даже на Бишан заметил. The weird practices and miracles that the villagers performed were realized by the means of Oh were realized by the means of advanced technology that was used in the Yeah, but the only thing is it doesn't really make sense, right? That's just weird. If that's the case, why how do you have the old Oyasado Sama sort of I don't know, like shrine tool, and yet you don't have anything like old technology maybe? How can you keep that and yet you can't keep something of so much more worth and value and just importance to the world, really? It just makes, like, no sense whatsoever, maybe? <laughs> oh, I love that. These people don't even take it seriously at all. But I don't blame them. I'm, I'm only, the only reason I'm kind of taking this seriously is because I'm just genuinely interested in what she thinks. Like, I'm just genuinely thinking on like how you can tell the story. It's really interesting. ノストラダムスの大予言だって。97年には <笑> TV shows made people as scared as they could be, and then ignoring the fact that it didn't happen. Yeah. I suppose so. でも、<laughs> oh my god, that that turn of reaction. I love that. You must be joking. Akasaka Senpai, is this for real? As time passed, the bacteria stabilizing from the bodies and became harmless. The alien and the bacteria began to fade away from people's minds. However, the alien has lived on for hundreds of years with the protection of the three families. Where's the proof? Where's the proof? Where's the proof? <laughs> it just really, really... I think at the moment I'm sort of... I'm interested, but at the same time I'm sort of so unlikely that I'm sort of just denying it's... any idea for it to potentially be true. I should stop doing that. Oh god. Accidentally. Lost control.
still loves on as the spirit of a deity in the secret in the secret temple of the Rubidae shrine. Yeah, in the spirit. <laughs> the alien Manovia is a bacteria living inside. Oh, oh right, the alien with the solid acid or something. Yeah. That they believe could potentially be. So still, still lives on as the spirit of the deity in the secret in the secret temple of the Rubidae shrine. The alien Manovia is a bacteria living inside of the villages and maintained control over them for the last hundred year, hundreds of years. The alien wanted to regain power and started researching how to bring about the lost powers of the bacteria, etc, etc. That's actually very interesting, that could, that could genuinely explain, um, oh yeah, um, thingy from the Paco's death. And it could maybe explain Bacchus as well, because she maybe, maybe she just was driven so insane by the potential parasites that would have built up in her that she could have maybe just ended it all in the swamp, but... Even saying that is ridiculous. That did not fucking happen. No way. It really, really doesn't make sense. Takano's death. And Tomitaka's death is kind of making a little more sense with this. But at the same time, it just still doesn't make sense. Like, who the fuck is the alien? Is there an alien or is it a human being? That's another question. Like, there's so many. I don't really get why or Yasuda or something like the little god responsible for helping Namazawa would want to regain his power, but at the same time, maybe it could give us some sort of explanation for Yasuda or something, I suppose. But who knows? I, I just don't really know. It's it's a tricky place to sort of be in, really. Things get much stranger from here. Oh. People say that the result is actually part of the alien's plan to conquer the entire world by spreading the reawakened bacteria. It's interesting this is said, because that's what Denar thought. I don't know about Dr. Nozak, but Denar definitely thought that. Like, they thought that potentially trying to revive this bacteria and make it fatal to anybody could not only go to Hinamazawa, but if they sort of adapted it to fit into conditions of other places, then it could potentially spread. And yeah, you could potentially go. You could, in theory, invade the whole world with it, but you'd have to have really advanced production. You'd basically have to travel the world to actually infect people with it, because you'd have to infect people with different variants. You'd have to make different variants, and then you'd have to infect them, and you'd have to make different variants for potentially, like, every town or climate or, I don't know, prefecture. And also, with this, um, if the parasites potentially spread to everybody, what would happen if, say, like, what happened? Oh my god, the world would definitely end. Definitely. It'd be too uncivil to live in. But what would happen if, let's just say... I don't know. That's actually a good example. What if it happens in Australia and there's an El Nino... Um, El Nino event. Where really, really abnormally hot temperatures are happening. And let's just say, I don't know, there's a lot of drought. It's just kind of weird. Because what would happen with the parasites? Because they would, they would not be in a climate that they like. So, even if the people were at their home place, would they still be feeling mad just because of, just because of the change in the climate? Who knows? The Japanese government has a secret fish in their fights against alien invasions, and they trained. Oh, didn't actually realise that. And they trained at Area 51 in the US, etc, etc. I always really wonder, I mean, I wonder how many people just wonder what's inside Area 51. I wonder if anyone's actually, like, had the opportunity to visit it. Because, oh my god, could you imagine if, like, you were a conspiracy theorist and then you got a job in Area 51? That'd be really, pretty funny. But you'd, you'd have to have, like, years and years of experience to do something like that. Just because of how confidential it is, I suppose. I'm not really gonna go into it that much, but you do really wonder just what really is in the collective of those. Uh, that'd be really funny if it was just a hoax and there was nothing in there. <laughs> it was like, I don't know. I don't really know.
looking to stop the invasion by sealing off the entire village. And they killed all the residents by using toxic gas. Hmm. <laughs> it's actually kind of interesting. I, I suppose that could have happened. But the only thing is, why are you... Firstly, how would they... How would they make it look like an eruption? <laughs> Secondly, how would, like, in the whole eruption-related, um, I don't know, time period, like we were seeing in, for example, Tokoji Gorosi, I mean, I can't really relate it too much because these are different realities, but the same principle probably would have applied. Or Himatsu as well. Like, why, when Casey was just sort of in his worst day, really, why do we see no men? We only saw, um, people at the hospital, I think, that sort of transported Katie to, no, people, I think it was, I think it was at the, no, I can't remember where it was, I can't remember who got transported to hospital, to, I don't know, maybe it was just outside, I swear it was outside the school, I don't know though. <笑>え、ガデスオンなら <laughs> この she was completely paranoid about it. Oh my god, about Denna. Holy shit, I think that's so sad because she would have died anyway just because of this disaster. So in theory, like, literally everything she did was just for nothing. Everything she, she went through. Because she wanted to have a future, but she wouldn't be able to now because of the fucking explosion. I don't really think it is odd that the theory was actually that she did predict because no matter how much we sort of slander her theories you can't lie that there could potentially be sort of an element of fact in there but i don't really know i think the alien stuff is just ridiculous i really do think that but i don't really know so much about the whole prediction thing and maybe maybe this no but the only thing is you can't have the parasites without you can't have the parasite disease without the aliens and the only thing is the parasite was I personally think it was a mental thing just after what I saw yesterday and the evidence is sort of gathered from that. So, yeah, I, I, it just doesn't make up. I think this genuinely could have been a coincidence. I really don't know. I, I, I don't want to become a conspiracy theorist, but like... No, actually, conspiracy theorizing is kind of fun, but like, not when you're sort of really, really theorizing it, like we didn't have to or something like that. <laughs> そしてその死の直前に自らの死を悟ったかのように村の一人の少女にこのスクラップ帳を預けて一種を託したと言うんだ。彼女は自分の死を悟ったかのように村の一人の少女にこのスクラップ帳を預けて一種を託したと言うん
this theory has basically been the ruin of her entire life for a bit. So, yeah, it's really funny that, but they don't know that, obviously. Being like Yoga and her addiction to the old dog on his world by means of the scrapbooks. God, so that was her will. No, I suppose so. <laughs> she tried to fight against the plan of Asian by holding a school hostage in demand. Oh, that's actually very interesting, because, um, yeah, this thing, I do wonder if this is sort of conspiracy related or they do actually, um, they do actually have proof of this, because, I mean, it did actually happen, but conspiracy theorists, people reading conspiracy, would they have solid evidence like the police would? Who knows? Of course, no one believed her, and they assumed she was in a state of paranoia. Yeah, yeah, definitely. She kind of was, though, like, my god. And by then, Bu was assuming that Lena Diogu took Neon Takano's delusion seriously and was motivated to commit a poorly executed crime. Yeah. But she did take them seriously, though, my god. She held the school hostage. Nei Nandiogu told the local police that the alien was controlling the three families and that he was plotting bioterrorism on a massive scale. And the, and the very next day. Okay, that is weird. That is really fucking weird. The very numbers of a disaster occurred. What? That's insane. The only thing is that just... That makes so little sense. What? I don't want to say it's a coincidence because I don't even know for myself. You've got to be kidding me. It's it's not not I know. I know it's just so odd though. But the only thing is I just don't really, it just doesn't add up. Because you would have thought this would be sort of, because this could potentially be sort of the truth um, released at like a public level, which would be really, really bad for potential higher up, I don't know, ranks in terms of just who's going to fucking die in the end. Thanks to Hinamazawa and related stuff. But the only thing is... It doesn't make sense because none of the police believed it. I mean, I guess that some... So none of the police believed it. Everybody thought that this information was just crap and that thanks to this information she was just going crazy and it would drive anybody crazy that read it. Nobody took it seriously and yet action of this severity happened. It just doesn't really make sense, though, because you would have thought... Okay, I can see this if people did actually take it seriously and they did think about it, but they didn't. They just ignored it and brushed it off. They actually laughed at the theories. So, yeah, I don't really see that. Gotta be kidding. Couldn't it just be a coincidence? I don't know. Yeah. It's not a coincidence. It's not a coincidence. It's not a coincidence. There are many instances. Oh. 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 Filling the swarm with concrete is one example. So, the Umetater Mani Akirakani Tsujo no Chis Chosa to a Kotonaru. 秘密の調査を行っていたとされていて当時ここの封鎖に関わっていた自衛隊員たちがそれを何人も証言しているインテレスティング
Do we have anything? Is, is this information coming from valid sources? It, it does kind of sound like something that would come from valid sources, but this is a conspiracy theory, so yeah. Conspiracy theories, sometimes they're just literally built on lies, so you have to kind of check. And like, like I said, it was from the internet, so it probably was built on a collection of truth and lies, but everything we've seen so far has actually come true, from what we've heard at least. Like, it did genuinely sort of have the scrapbook information. It kind of was twisted a little bit to make it more a little to make it a little bit more understanding because i've never heard of new things like for example the alien sort of manifesting us um ma i don't even uh, or the alien sort of releasing i don't know just sort of coming down from the numbers or releasing a bit bacteria on their visit i don't really know it just doesn't make sense like when you try and talk about it seriously it just sounds ridiculous but i suppose that's because we're so sort of unaccustomed to aliens that we wouldn't believe in their concepts even if we tried. Oh, some people. Oh, yeah. Who in terms of people? Hmm. That's actually kind of odd. Hmm. <laughs> What they would actually need to use the geology for because the only thing I can really think of is like maybe analyzing the sort of rock and soil underneath to sort of see if I don't know, maybe for example, erosion will erode the building, erode the building or fence in a few hundred years, or maybe if it's actually or if like the ground is sort of strong enough to withstand the weight of the house, but I don't really know, Th they just don't sound likely, and especially a little erosion one, like it wouldn't. They would just be caring about now, not then. It just doesn't really seem like it has any point. It's kind of odd. But I think that sort of white one could potentially be a little more likely. I just don't know. So they were talking. Stay on a you know what I've seen, John. I've been like, we ナミザの計算は例外中の例外のケースのはずなのです。いや、うすいは極めて超気に及んだ。I this is not average, your average Hinamizawa resident, because, yeah, <laughs> they're obviously not here in the time of the explosion, but also just because of, I don't really know. It'd be glorious, the aliens, <laughs> nah, nah, I am not believing that even if I, even if I was paid, I would not believe about the aliens. No, but the only thing is there are a few, shut up, <laughs> there are not a few inconsistencies, but there kind of are though, you remember that alien with, you remember that thing with, um, red eyes of Dead or Denar in that um, it was the typical them if you remember that was weird red eyes unnatural un inhuman form form that melts away the second you look away it's just kind of weird that could have been a delusion as well who knows though so. 
あのケースは島民が祈祷を強く希望したからと聞いています。南沢には帰る人がそもそもいないんだから、十分安全が確認できるまでたっぷり期間を置いただけなのでは There were no residents alive who wished to return in the first place. Yeah, exactly. Perhaps the government took our time until they were absolutely certain they were safe. Yeah, but the only thing is, it's just kind of odd to me. It is. あとこんな話もあるぞ。ひなみざを封鎖していた自衛隊員たちは定期的に血を抜かれての厳密な検査を受けていたといい。何らかの結果によって自他ともに理解できない理由で任務を取られるとかだという。The SDF members who were taken. The SDF members who were taken.、Um, the SDF members who were on the mission to see all the way had their blood samples taken periodically. Why would they have their blood samples taken? This sounds really weird and random as well. I mean, I suppose if they have gas, maybe it could potentially infiltrate their insides and get into their blood, but what if you ever heard about gas that's not like. I suppose if it is poison, maybe. I don't really know though. Much about that type of stuff. That'd be so weird having something that's not like oxygen, maybe CO2 in your blood. <laughs> so some of them have just charged. Interesting. それは実は細菌感染の陽性反応を見るもので自衛隊員たちをとどまらせることによる何らかの人体実験だったとささやかれているらしい。So, a company that doesn't operate in Namazawa. I do wonder about Okinomiya related companies. Because the Okinomiya military, what if they could potentially be the people that are asking them to do this? But the only thing is, it is really odd about this. I'm, I'm just really surprised that like, they would be sent back without notice. Discharged, yeah. それはやはりガスが湧き出す危険性があっただけに健康管理には気を使ったということでしょう。それに普通のサラリーマンだって年に一度は健康診断を受けその時に血を抜かれてるはずです。Besides, normal businessmen also take annual physical checkups. And they have their blood samples taken there as well. Yeah. yeah I suppose they probably do. Probably do. Okay, 
we've literally heard reports and evidence and just we've been able to see the gas itself when it's actually erupted. How can there be no gas? What? What does that mean? Yeah, I know. Basically, what does it mean? Yeah, I I think a government cover-up. How ridiculous is that? How can they do something like this? And why would they do something as well? That's actually a really good question. Why would they do this? What are the motives? That's how Mystery Mania is going to be explained. その連中は何を根拠に火山ガスが発生しなかったと言っているんです。風砂解除後。ミステリーマニアがドットを使用せた。UFO説を補強するためにいろいろ調べた。連中の主張はこうだ。政府発表の火山ガス成分によるならば、硫化水素によって金属が腐食されたり、自然体系に大きなダメージが残るはずだ。Magnetic damage to the wildlife, and yet it happens to me. No, because I suppose it would. I suppose it definitely would because it's such a big scale as well. にもかかわらず、南沢にはそういう痕跡が残っておらず。火山ガスが噴出したとは到底思えないとかなんとか言ってる。何で火山ガスが噴出したとは到底思えないとかなんとか言ってる。何で火山ガスが噴出したとは到底思えないとかなんとか言ってる。何で火山ガスが噴出した
。やはりつくづくインターネットというのは信用できませんね。で、まさか赤坂先輩は。その怪しげな話を信じてるわけですか<笑>最初は信じなかったが、最近は俺も分かった。何割かは真実が含まれているかもしれないと思いました。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>このスクラップ書、これが本物の34号文書だとしたら昭和58年6月25日、雛見沢エイリン署に人質を取って籠城した。リュウグー・レイナが所持していた。正真正銘、本物の34号文書だ。<laughs> I definitely think that this. This is. There's no way that this is not a document. Hinamiza Dai Saiga in Okonlan, the Nagaiko, the Yuke, the Mayor, the Kinne, Ois San of Furu Yuzinga, Genke no Hosonko, the Hakin Starashi.
that could potentially be why, but at the same time, it also could be just because um, he's really, really just upset with his sister, really. Alright, um, all the other deaths can be explained to Parasite, but the fact that the dismemberment happened on the first death of Ayasuka Sama can't really explain the Parasite related things. Or maybe, maybe it could actually, no, I actually kind of thought of something interesting. So, you know how, like, with Ayasuka Sama, the sort of deaths are all um, sort of influenced by if they're a traitor to the village? Maybe that could be something, maybe, like, if this Parasite theory was real, the Parasites could actually sort of take into account that if they pose a threat on the village's future, that they will nest in, really, in, because of the climate. I'm so tired. Oh, that was so shame. I would not like Pepsi, I'm never buying that again. there's no proof that such microbes existed so it still remains at a theoretical level yeah definitely but could you imagine if they actually decided to investigate this that'd be so cool i really hope we get more info on it in the future oishi-san says that the frequency ご三家が過去の信仰心を村に取り戻すために大昔の毒性の強い病原体を研究していたのは本当じゃないかって言うんだ ひなみざわ大災害は実はその結果の失敗じゃないかってな。確かに、確かに。確かに。確かに。確かに。確かに。確かに。確かに。確かに。確かに。確かに。確かに。確かに。確かに。確かに。確かに。確かに。確かに。
weird. That is so weird. That is genuinely so weird. Why would Nico be killed? Why? No, but the only thing is it does actually kind of make a little bit of sense because with Nico, she sort of, she, in this world, she really, really opened up about sort of how she's so, about how she's been living through countless amount of lives. And yet this one is really just amazing because nothing like this has ever happened before. Maybe because she's finally opened up and people actually know about this. And they know that she's the reincarnation of Boyata or something. They probably believe that she poses a danger to the village or something like that, so they just fucking kill her. But maybe it could be because of that, but I don't really know, it just seems too unlikely. Like, who would be able to actually hear that as well is a good question. Like, what the fucking police officers? Nah, they wouldn't do it, but like, yeah. Well, it could do, to be fair, but I don't know. It'd have to be pretty bad if they were to do something like that, God. They could have been an underground research lab with Nick, the village clinic. Oh god. It could actually be kind of a fair point. I wonder, I wonder. And Dr. Udo could have been four studying microbiological, mi microbiological, um, biological, microbiological research. But he couldn't leave his home since he committed suicide. Oh yeah, yeah, because we do remember. He does, I mean, he does commit suicide in the Tafali Odyssey world. Katie thinks that's because of him, but maybe it could even be. But I don't know. It just doesn't really. It doesn't really add up if. I don't. Really, none of this adds up. I'm sorry. None of this does. could have also had Emlyn visibly murdered in a uh, sacrifice with some sort of ritual ceremony in the name of Voyasa Lalana's revival. Yeah, but the only thing is, why would that happen then? It just doesn't really make sense to me. But I do actually find this really interesting because this is exactly what Emma thought. But the only thing is, however, the experiment went, went wrong. Instead of micro being parasitic in the villages, they became a killer virus. Yeah, and I suppose that's. And they experimented the entire village in their minds. Tada no gas sai gai janai koto wa meihaku. It's obvious it wasn't a simple gas. Yes, gas ga waku chokuzen ni hitori no shoujo ga saikin tero o yokoku shi. Suunin no murabito ga kaishi o tobe tei. And Takono predicted it. And Odena kind of did, but like that was characterized by that Takano sort of information. She only believed what she was reading, but Takano and Nika, they really did do it without any other's thoughts. It's weird. It's obvious it wasn't a simple. It's, ob it's obvious it wasn't a simple gas disaster. We cannot ignore the fact that one girl predicted a bioterrorist attack right before the disaster. Exactly, yeah. Several of the villagers died mysteriously. Yeah. I definitely see what they mean, but the only thing is, is I just don't really get why they'd want to bring it up. I mean, obviously, the whole Yasuo Lozama thing, but I just don't really see what the point is. I don't know. Um, that would actually explain why Uda did, you know, what he did to himself in the end that caused him to die. Just because of the whole, um, the whole, um, experiments. I do find it very interesting that um, this could potentially be saying that 
Maybe the gas disaster wasn't the one that killed everybody. It was the actual parasites. That could be a very interesting theory, though, because I definitely get what I mean. It doesn't add up. Why did why did that hydrogen sulfide not come? No, the, the thing is about the... Ah, oh, it's really awful. You can't make assumptions because the things you can make assumptions on, like, I'm, I was going to use the fact that um, the great disaster didn't actually produce hydrogen sulfide because no corrosion of metals and no harming of habitats. Like, I was going to use that as my evidence, but at the same time, you can't really trust the evidence that you're using because it's from the internet. It could potentially be a lie. We don't know what's true and what's false here. And not everybody, not, and not everybody does. It would be very interesting if, like, this experiment had actually spread across the villages, but the villages, and then everybody had died. But the only thing is, I just don't really understand how that could have happened, and when that could have happened as well, because I don't really get. Oh, I don't know. This doesn't seem like something that would act instantly, if you get what I mean. No, it probably would do actually. I do wonder if we're ever going to find, like, the body of anybody in the number of after the disaster. It probably would be impossible, because they removed all the bodies, probably. But, yeah, it would be interesting, because maybe you could... If their bodies are clawed, if their throats are clawed out, then, yeah, I think that tells a lot. But if they're not, then that also tells a lot, actually. <laughs> それをスクラップ帳にまとめた高野美代本人も含めてねあれを偶然のじゃあ日南沢大災害は自然災害ではなく最近テロ Was unpredicted and coincidental. Um, it was an unpredicted and coincidental like it was like when you do it this far, no it's already brought it's obvious. I agree, I agree, I actually do agree with this. Saying that the Great Hinamazawa disaster wasn't a rare natural disaster, but that it was in fact an act of um, by February and by some cultists. I suppose it could be, but the only thing is it just doesn't really make sense. I'm just so surprised that something like this could have killed people and yet the police wouldn't have noticed it? The autopsies wouldn't have noticed it? No, but the only thing is they probably wouldn't have done autopsies for deaths this of this much in terms of amount. I just really don't get how the parasites could have infected everybody in the village site. I really don't. God, I just can't believe everybody died so. I seriously can't believe it. I mean, it was just going so well. It just really shows you how impossible, like, a successful you know, Zawa is. I swear. Shocking incidents where a, a doomsday cult was um, a doomsday cult created an earth gas siren. Siren? Oh, I don't know. And unleashed it for the first person. That's right. Oh my god. A nerve gas. What does Sadin do? What does it do? Like? Organophosphorus.
Victor prison, so apparently the Nazis effect invented this gas, but actually Hitler was afraid to use it. I see fucking get it right, so. Oh, so it interve intervenes with a interferes with a normal signaling between nerve cells, right? Oh fuck! So apparently it um blocks nerve endings from allowing muscles to stop. Oh my god! From allowing muscles to stop contracting. Jesus. So it definitely occur when the muscles control and breathing become effective, causing a response issue. Oh my god. Jesus, that was terrifying. Oh, I just saw I just saw sort of really disturbing image. same here but I just don't get why but in the 80s the idea of a single but in the 80s the idea of a single car being able to carry out such an act of terrorism didn't even cross our minds or maybe that's why it couldn't it maybe could have the possibility that potentially not be a single car I don't know though その後の自衛隊の長い封鎖はその殺人ウイルスを調査するためではないかとささやかれているのだ。あ、ノンコンビンス。すっきりしないな。いや、ウィビーベリーハードトゲットサッチアウェイモートプレイスとスタディサッチ
赤坂先輩がそれを立証するにはあとはここの住民の生き残りを見つけて体内からその特殊な病原体ってやつを見つけ出すほかないんじゃないですかそれも致命的だ。ひなみざ大災害後のひなみざ出身者に対する魔女狩りのせいで、今や出身者の存在は不明だ。彼らは名乗りなどあげまい。それでも諦めないのが刑事魂ってもんだよ。あれが自然災害じゃなかったっていう状況証拠はいくらでもある。何か一つの具体的証拠が見つかれば、芋づる式に全てを白日のもとにさらせるかもしれない。あれから20年経過してますからね。真相はあまりに遠い闇の中かもしれません
そうだな21世紀の今頃になってここを訪れても何も分かりはしないのかもな I get that it was really, really affecting her, but she wasn't. But at the same time, no, that, that's the bad thing. She wasn't, but at the same time, she potentially was. But, I, okay, I think she was definitely very factual and informed about what she was saying. She was rational, but the only thing is she took that way too far. So I think it's probably justified because, like, yeah. Let's just say I have a suspicion that... There's secretly a nail in my food. In my sushi. There's a nail in my sushi. And it was made possible by a restaurant because they are bad at customer safety stuff. What do I just like attack that restaurant? <laughs> like, no, I don't think it works like that. <laughs> yeah, I can kind of see why. <laughs> Chief doctor of the village um, clinic committed suicide. People believe that a little girl, Huda Dedika, was a reincarnation of Oyasu no Sama, and she was brutally murdered. Exactly, yeah. But the only thing is, it doesn't really explain why would she be brutally murdered? Because, like, Oyasu no Sama, literally the guardian deity of the village, one of the most respected people there by the p people in passing on his side. So, what, what are you up to, even? Like, why would she get brutally murdered? Was she just like a bootleg or something? Like a bad incarnation or. Who knows? What's the truth behind this scrapbook? Was it written to reveal a huge conspiracy? Or was it just a bunch of delusions written by an occult maniac? Why does everybody use that phrase, like, seriously? <laughs> the amount of times I've heard that really, really cheesy pair of words is actually ridiculous. of the scrapbook were true the disaster could have been avoided if we'd heeded the warnings of one girl hmm. i suppose but like the only thing is i don't really get how they could have done it because even though she begged them to investigate i don't really understand firstly how they could have actually done it because how they could have got evidence for the aliens and the parasites and stuff like that and Secondly, I don't get how they'd have an authority and actually be able to do stuff like that because of how ridiculous it sounds. And thirdly, I don't really get how they do it in the time frame that they had. But I don't know, I think it could be realistic, to be fair, because Oisey could have done more when he started investigating it. Easily. I know that, like, 2,000 lives, just potentially because of the warnings of one girl. It's insane. If it weren't true, then who created a disaster to follow the scenario of the scrapbook? That is actually a fair point. After, after the sudden and the words mind control came into his mind. Oh. 
can contrast the brain washing, which can easily force the brain picking up the sudden acts in the street. The mind control takes a long time to gradually make a person believe that what he or she must do is the right thing to do. An act upon his or her desire to act upon the by observation, which is far more serious than brainwashing. Wait, hang on. So, yeah, so just short brainwashing is just like easily forcing somebody to commit short term acts, but this is like long time, long term stuff. So let me just think of an example about mind control. So, so let's say, I don't know, tripping down the stairs, for example, is the right thing to do now. I've been mind controlled. Tripping down the stairs is the right thing to do. And then I trip down the stairs to see if I get my brain idea. And I do find it very interesting that, like, then I did actually kind of do this with what Takano actually learned. She, Takano actually discovered, potentially. She did kind of act as a as if it were her idea. The current Brian study gas incident induced fear and anxiety in its members through revelations of the doomsday. Ah! At the same time, they ordered them to do certain things as means of salvation and um, had them do so voluntarily. Yeah, so... Salvation is just the state of being saved. Well, I can actually kind of have you look that up. It's one of those words where you think you know the meaning, but you just want to check, just to be 100% sure, you know? Similar to how Dana Diego began the puppet of, the fu of file number 34. Yeah, I agree. So, does that mean that Dana Diego was mind controlled by someone? Does that mean that the cult had mind controlled her? Oh, um, does that mean that the cult that had that mind controlled her um, to cause the end of the world in order to increase the credibility of their teachings just like the other cult did?
for them if I in 34 some kind of religious text or something like that when I'm just going to grip on what's true and what's not it sometimes made me feel that somebody might be laughing at an amusement at this disaster hmm who though that's the only question <laughs> that's a fucking big question some I don't think it's going to be very easy to answer or something like that The scrapbook was like a script. Oh yeah, it was a script for a tragedy that takes the lives of thousands of villagers in a night. Yeah. It was a script for demons who laugh at the loss of human lives. Yeah, someone wrote the script. Someone performed it. Someone watched the show and laughed. But who? I, re I really wonder who. Because I, I, I do kind of get what they mean. Damn it. What the hell happened in Hinamazawa in June 1983? Oh my god, yeah. It would have actually been a lot more helpful if he was there, but if he was there then as well, he probably would also be dead now. So, yeah, I wonder, I mean, Oisi's still alive to be fair, so maybe not, but I don't know. It would be more likely if he was, especially if he was investigating the next day. But I don't know, he wouldn't, he probably wouldn't know. Oh god. Okay then. That fucking scared me. <laughs> god. Right. <laughs> there we are, we're a detective now. <laughs> that is all the tips in Timmy Horoboshi. That was really, really interesting. Oh my god, dude. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a little break just before I go to the staff room. And we're gonna see the final thing in Timmy Horoboshi. Right, let me just go onto this and then let's just have a little break. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> we're in the lab now. The Writer's Corner. What does it say? Oh, none of those books actually say anything. They have labels on, so you could potentially... I don't know. <laughs> God, could you imagine if this actually was like where UPC writes his stuff? That would just be so dodgy. <laughs> Hello. Nah, screw it. I'm not going to have a break. I can't be asked. Actually, I will. I will. I want to enjoy this as much as possible. I'm feeling kind of tired from just what I learned. I learned so much, dude. That was so interesting. I mean, genuinely, like, there were so many things that were just really, really inconsistent and just weird. Like, I mean, the SDF. The SDF was strange. Um, the SDF was strange. The fact that the murders as well, fucking hell. Um, oh, God, I'm just really trying to remember. Like, the whole gas-related thing, and the, definitely um, the fact that there wasn't any hydrogen sulfide in the actual gas itself. It's just weird. But the other thing is, like, I, I am assuming, like, high amounts of carbon dioxide could easily kill you. But I don't know. People always say carbon monoxide is the poisonous one, so I don't know. Right, I now feel brain dead. I am not. I also, I also found that very interesting about like how this sort of relates to like a real, a lot of real life things that happen, like especially the history of the um, uh, sort of eruptions and just like how it, how it followed a lot of eruptions that were really really strange, like the African one. And yeah, that's really cool. I love that dude. Um, what else was there? Oh yeah, the inconsistencies. Oh no, I already mentioned that. The inconsistencies of the SDF and also just learning about the story. That was cool, but I just can't remember there any more inconsistent things. Oh my god, yeah, especially the SDF getting sent back for the blood samples and the experimentation that could have potentially happened. That just makes things so much weirder. And also the fact that the lake was filled with lots of meters of concrete. You do wonder if that could potentially be for more than a reason of just like. 
making the concrete strong enough to actually support human weight, I don't know. But you already would be with, like, I don't know, a metre, like, or, like, 50 centimetres, maybe. I don't know, it's weird. I hope you enjoy playing Higurashi. Hmm. I thought it was Kai. What? I hope you enjoy playing Higurashi when they cry. Ho, oh, chapter 6, Zumi Oroboshi. Fuck yes, I did, dude. Right. There are several themes I wanted to talk, I wanted to write about in this chapter, but I'd like to talk about one of them here. It's about the denial of murder. This is something I had to write sooner or later, since this is a novel about serial murders. I suppose. <laughs> I never really realised that, because it is a novel about friendship and some of the most sweet and happy times, but it's also a fucking novel about serial murders. <laughs> it is. There were two... There were two memes that youngsters in particular use these days to solve problems, which are murderers. Yeah, yeah. When we feel stressed, we seem to either get rid of the source of the stress or to get away from it. Yeah. I say you're really bad good at school. Yeah. Can't relate to that. You have two ways to solve the problem. You can choose to get rid of the kid from your current environment. Oh my. It's a little bit far. <laughs> or to get away from the environment itself. Yeah, definitely. But the only thing is, how would you get rid of the kid? Because. Yeah. That's interesting, though. This is true. Usually, bullets are stronger and have their underlings, so you don't stand a chance alone to get rid of them. Yeah, definitely. I suppose you could do it from... You could do it by teachers. Anybody? I mean, to be fair, if it's a really, really bad school, especially. Now, why am I using... Why am I thinking about other people? I should think about myself here. But, but like, you can use teachers, because a lot of these bullies, they are not how... Not what they are to the people they bully when they are um, confronted by a teacher. It's also not easy to switch, to switch classes or to quit school, so you can't easily get away from this. I agree, yeah. As a result, the situation gets worse but day by day. Yeah, and your stress urges you to solve the problem immediately. murder and suicide is easier solutions i mean i guess that could potentially be a thing but the only thing is i just don't really i disagree with this entirely there are so to be fair i think if it was really really serious bullying then these could definitely be true but if it's just like light-hearted bullying if it's not really the worst because this isn't really mentioned as something that would be really really serious like what is mentioned up here it's not really mentioned as very serious stuff, it's just mentioned as like general bullying, but I think this should only apply to very serious bullying, because, yeah, I wouldn't be murdered. I think if I murdered all the people that genuinely bullied, I'd, I'd be a serial killer. <laughs> Easily over 25. Over 25? No way. I would have killed more people than then I could have potentially killed. <laughs> oh my god. I see what I is put in considered defeat. You you want to consider mine. Yeah, definitely. But the only thing is, who's fucking sane and wouldn't consider murder if they don't want a suicide? Like, anybody maybe? <laughs> but some people probably do. I feel like there are many people in the world who think that way. I can understand that, yeah. However, if you actually um, committed a murder, it wouldn't be easy, easy for you to pay the sin. Yeah, definitely. I believe murder is not our world too. Yeah, definitely. But you really hate the bully who pushed you to the limit where you have no choice but to kill him. So if determination will turn your entire life upside down, you can Yeah, definitely. 
I think it's really interesting how this is sort of mirroring the plot of Zoe Holobossi entirely. Because, yeah, this is what I don't know this. She murdered Yutsuko and um, gave her because of the problem she could never get away with it. Like here, she could never do anything. And it, it was getting worse every day. And if the only thing is she could have done stuff, it was just she was so naive. She was so desperate in solving the problem. Like, because she wanted it out of her life as soon as possible. So she actually really goes out this really. And yeah, this is like Lena. But then I really, really hate Lena. But if you have such strong determination, there have to be more ways to, than to take them and be murder. Which should be the last result. Exactly, yeah. But the only thing is, I don't think murder should be the last result. It should be far from the last result. If it's life or death, then sure. But like, anything else, no way. I don't agree with that. to your friends. Yeah. That doesn't mean you to your family. Yeah. That doesn't mean you can talk to your teacher. That doesn't work then what? I suppose so. There have to be more ways. Exactly. Yeah. If you have the determination to give up on your life by committing murder, there have to be more ways. I suppose so. I mean the only things I can't really think of. What if it is like a genuine life or death situation, you know? Oh, I really don't know. Oh, is uh, you could get into really, really tricky situations. Like, what if, let's just say someone you really, really like is being chased by a serial killer, and then you're in, you actually stumble across a serial killer potentially, like, holding them at gunpoint or something, like. It's actually kind of interesting, because I was going to use this as an example, as an example of, you could only do murder, but you couldn't only do murder, you could knock them unconscious, you could fucking run, you could risk your life and run, or you could, you could negotiate, but I don't think that would be very possible without offering a huge sum of money. I really don't know. Yeah, and I definitely like that you put, like, giving up on your life, because it's so true. Murder is the worst thing, one of the worst things people can do. Especially in people like Denos case where they don't only murder, they do it twice, and they do it really horribly as well. A modern era is better than the era before it. There are many hotlines that you can call to talk to someone. Yeah, even if you don't have any friends or family there, and many places you can go for help. Exactly, yeah. People who will answer the phone are amateurs. Exactly, yeah. They're volunteers, but they're also veterans who have worked as social workers or juvenile counsellors for a long time. Yeah. I love, I love that, like, it says juvenile counsellors, they, they just know the audience of which they're talking to, targeting this game to. I think this game is definitely, like, young adult, early teen, sort of, uh, young, early young, um, sort of late teenagers, like me, I suppose, I'm only 16, to really young, over two young adults, really, maybe, like, 25 at the very most. It is kind of a shame, because I would have loved to play Umi Neko, but I don't, and Sikonia, maybe. But I don't really think I'm going to have time just because of how study intensive my life is going to be in a few years. This is the last time I can have to play the original novel and I'm happy I'm really, I'm really happy I'm taking it because I've, I've gained so much from this. It's really been an invaluable experience every fucking day. I can assure you that I have more social experiences and they have 
I can assure you that they are more social with those in passion than your parents do. Interesting. People who work to help people for free can't be bad people. Oh god, yeah, yeah. If you feel that you have no choice to give to kill the body of the Mazuba, well, please try to do this again. Yeah, I'm I'm really happy he puts this in there. I'm really, really am. Will be somebody you can completely rely on on the other end of the line. Yeah. Don't give it to anyone else because it's really good. Yeah. Because you wrote such a long story just to tell. <laughs> <laughs> you accuse you both of such a long story just to tell you this. You must be a very poor writer. If anybody says Yukisi is a poor writer. <laughs> so Yukisi wants to talk to you all rather than all by himself. <laughs> I'm gonna write more entertaining stories. Bill <laughs> You're also a nutrition. You can see also. Oh, so that was the end. Was that actually the last word I was ever gonna read in Zemiola Wasi? What's gonna happen now? Or are we gonna be transported to the main screen? Oh. Yeah, dude, there we go. That is the end of Tsumi Horowashi. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> that is finally it. That tip was actually really, really interesting. I really love stories like that. So well written as well, my god. It really, really was. Oh, this was just absolutely... All of this story, that it's just so, oh, it's just all amazing, genuinely just amazing. I mean, it's just so classic. All of the events that happen, I think everything that sort of takes place is just what I personally think is just absolutely, absolutely spot on. I mean, this story, I, I think, okay, this story is easily my favourite in the Hugo Dash Advance verse, easily, without a doubt. Um, I don't really think. I don't really think this story is going to be topped easily. <laughs> it definitely won't be, but maybe chapter 7 and chapter 8 are going to be really interesting. I hope they are going to be, because the thing that's actually really good about chapter 7 and chapter 8, I, when I watched Kai, I, I won't say I didn't enjoy the anime the most, it's just, I don't really know, something about it didn't really click with me as much as, like, series 1 did. So, that's really, really good, in reality, because not only am I going to have more of a sort of new impression on the story because I don't really remember a bit of what happened like that much I do remember a lot but not as much as I remembered let's say Tsumi Horobossi for example or no not Tsumi Horobossi that's a horrible example uh Meakasi that's a good example yeah now what's the story I knew most before I played the VN Watanagasi I knew the least Onikakushi Onikakushi probably yeah 
it's not Timmy Oliver, but she's good now. That one was also one of those I don't knew the least. I forgot a little bit of Timmy Hollow but yeah, dude, I'm so, so excited for the next chapters. They're going to be so good, I bet you. And my God, dude, this game is just genuinely just, oh, I have no words. I loved it. I loved all of the stories, all of the morales, all, just everything that happened with Denar. The illnesses, obviously, the mental side of it, I found very, very interesting. And yeah, there were so many things that I just really thought, especially with the mind, like, they just never even crossed my mind that it could potentially be existing. And I just really can't believe that people actually sort of face the problems that they're not facing. It's really awful. I mean, yeah. I do find it just really... I just find it so hard to sort of take in, like, Denos' whole backstory. And everything that sort of all of Takano's related stuff actually got her to sort of go as mad as she did really and oh my god i love the conspiracy side of this as well the conspiracy side and the theory side that is just the conspiracy side and theory side i don't think i've ever had something so brilliant i mean how can you get a village like hinamazawa and have it so big and yet you can add so many more like conspiracies and theories to it it's absolutely ridiculous how it's done it's amazing it really really is and my fucking god I am so excited to play the last two chapters. So, yeah. Um, and tomorrow I'm going to be watching the anime because, you know, that's what I always do. Like, play the VN, rewatch the anime, you know. Hopefully you enjoy it. And, yeah, because I really love doing that as well because you sort of get a lot of perspective on the plot from the anime as well. You miss those tiny things you could have potentially missed in the VN. Very rare you actually get stuff that are, that's new. But at the same time, you also get more of an insight, you know, you get... To see more of the adaptions, I reread. I would reread the manga as well, but sadly I don't have it. So yeah, the manga is so expensive though. I'll, I think it's like four hundred quid on eBay if you want all volumes. That's just how rare it is in English. Sorry, it's like a hundred quid in Japanese, but yeah, of course. I do speak a bit of Japanese, but like, not enough to like literally learn something, read something like that. Let's just say the language is funny and kanji is funny. <laughs> yeah, Kanji is, yeah, fun. No matter, even if you know what a word is, if you don't know the Kanji for it, boom, you're not going to be able to read it. And then, if you see that Kanji in another word, you need to know if it, which reading it uses. And the pattern is not even, like, fully consistent as well, which is worse than, it's so stupid sometimes. But, yeah, dude. I think that is definitely going to be everything I want to say about Tsumi Odobossi. What a brilliant story, dude. Oh my god. Lina, Depe as well. I thought that was brilliant. Like, all of the Lena related stuff. All of the stuff with Casey as well. And his past. His past as well. That's an element I never really touched on. Very, very interesting to learn about. All of the friendship related stuff as well. Oh my god, that fucking scene. That scene in the junkyard where they all make up. I, I find it really, really sad because the delusions, they completely ruin everything that happened there. Which, I get that it was really sad, but yeah, it was just so interesting to see all of that. God, this story. Oh my god, I love this story. I fucking love Hugo Dashi, but who doesn't, let's be real, <laughs> that's watching this. Yeah, right, I'm going to go now. See you guys. I really hope you enjoyed my Tommy Auto Bossy playthrough. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to you, to you, to seeing you in uh minna goroshi see you guys